This is the part where Evan introduces the next song because I'm out of breath. <laughs> you see, the Irish dancing just gets me a lot more out of breath than yeah. the, uh, the uh, old book dancing. <laughs> Folks, I don't know how she does it. I can barely do one thing at a time. I mean, I struggle. I don't know. Do you guys struggle with one thing at a time? I, I know I do. Well, I guess we're going to switch it up here just a little bit. Just because we can. We're going to do an, a great old time tune uh, that actually I kind of learned from you, but I've since mm -hmm. heard so many great old time fiddle players, Mark O'Connor, Benny. And Bruce Molsky. Bruce Molsky, yeah. And Benny Thomason. Benny Thomason, yeah. So uh, in the old time tradition, uh, we like to cross tune our fiddles. And this is something that I don't really talk about a whole lot because it's a very geeky subject and I will really geek out and bore y'all to tears. But I'm gonna try to explain really quick in a way that's not boring. So uh, I have all these fiddles up here with me. I'm playing four different fiddles and they're all tuned differently. And actually on my first album, I explored the tradition of cross tuning and I used 13 different tunings on the 17 tracks. Some of them are traditional cross tunings and some of them I came up with. So basically what it means is there's a standard way to tune a fiddle. And the standard way, if you were to strum all the strings together, it, even, even if the strings are in tune, they don't harmonize. But it, when you cross tune a fiddle, it puts all the strings in a chord where they do harmonize. So if you've ever seen a guitar player like Evan just now, he's strumming on his guitar. If he were to strum the open strings, even though it's in tune, it's not going to sound there, good because that. those notes... Oh, here you go. Because these notes don't harmonize. They don't make a chord. So it's not until you take this hand and make a chord over here that, and then strum it that it harmonizes and sounds good. And so Evan's like changing chords the whole time. And just like you make chords on the guitar or the banjo, you can tune your fiddle to a chord. So I have each of my fiddles tuned to like a different chord so that they all harmonize, but it's in different ways. So certain songs work with certain um, tunings and my voice uh, works with certain tunings. So sometimes I have to change fiddles in order to change tunings in order to make the song work for my voice or whatever. So that's a long story to just explain that this fiddle I have tuned up in a very special cross tuning that actually sounds like a cello. So if you get if you if you hear some some cello-ish vibes in this song, that's just because I have it tuned up like a cello. And also because Evan kind of sounds like a cello. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that <laughs> <laughs> I've been called worse things, folks. <laughs> About like this? Yeah. yeah Is that too Maybe just a little, little back a little bit. Nice and easy.
We're going to play another one here with Evan on bass. Y'all, this is very special. Um, I've never played in this sort of ensemble before, but what Evan's about to do on bass, I'm just like, we got we to gotta have more of this. <laughs> y'all, y'all let me know. know. what I'm about to do. <laughs> Y'all let me know what you think of what Evan does on bass, because this is... Or, or maybe don't let me know, too. That's us also. <laughs> yeah, y'all let us know what you think of Evan on bass, because I think this is cool. I want to record like this. This song was on, my, was on my latest CD, but it doesn't have bass like this. Yeah. There we go. One, two, one, two, one. Come with me and go 